Home News Cambodia Cambodia's government doubles down on legal threats over calls for election boycott The 24th of May 2018 email story comment on this story share print story print share comment email Interior Minister and CPP Vice President Sar Kang L walks with Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen R in Phnom Penh. January 19, 2018. Interior Minister and CPP Vice President Sar Kang L walks with Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen R in Phnom Penh. January 19, 2018. AFP Cambodia's government on Thursday doubled down on threats to prosecute anyone calling for a boycott of this year's general election. After the country's now dissolved opposition Cambodia National Rescue Party CNRP, told supporters to avoid the polls because it had been banned from participating. Organizing a boycott of Cambodia's July 29 election is in direct violation of the country's electoral laws and will be dealt with in court. Interior Minister and Vice President of the ruling Cambodian People's Party, CPP, Sar Kang said during the inauguration of a new administrative building in Persat Province. Any appeal for civil servants and citizens to vote is appropriate in accordance with the spirit of the Constitution of Cambodia and the law on the election of MPs, members of parliament, Sar King said. In contrast, those who appeal, incite, or prevent citizens from going to vote to elect their MPs for the 6th legislature are committing acts in violation of the Constitution and the law on election of MPs. Sar Kang's threats came after Ministry of Interior spokesperson Q. Sophie warned over the weekend of legal action against former CNRP officials who have urged supporters to avoid legitimizing the election after their party was shut down by the Supreme Court in November for allegedly plotting to topple the government and prohibited from taking part in the vote. Q. Sophie told local media at the time that the legal action would include the seizure of assets and said such a move would be justified because the former officials are no longer residing in the country. Legal experts have said that calling for a boycott of an election is not illegal in Cambodia and that assets cannot be seized if they are not the proceeds of criminal activity. Several CNRP officials and activists have fled Cambodia since the party was banned and are currently living in self-imposed exile to avoid facing cases widely seen as politically motivated and tried in a court system beholden to the CPP. In December Cambodia's National Election Committee NEC, the nation's top electoral body, warned of 5 to 20 million real fines US $1,240 to $4,950 and other criminal punishment for those sowing distrust of the election after RFA's Khmer Service reported on low turnout for voter registration following the dissolution of the CNRP. CNRP Deputy President Eng Chiang on Thursday dismissed Sar Kang's comments as paying lip service to Prime Minister Hun Sen, who seeks a mandate to continue his more than three-decade rule of the country, and said that neither the Constitution nor the law on the election of members of Parliament include clauses that call for the punishment of those who appeal for a boycott. Punishments are only provided for those who prevent people from voting or incite them not to vote, he told RFA's Khmer Service. We are simply calling upon citizens to use their peaceful and legal rights, so there is nothing wrong with such an appeal. It should be those who employ tactics of intimidation against our citizens through various means.
such as threatening people who do not vote, that are found in violation of the law. Hun Sen has repeatedly urged Cambodians to show up for the ballot and, earlier this month, Senior CPP official and National AIDS Authority Chairman Yang Muli was quoted by government-aligned Fresh News Media as saying that non-voters love dictators, adding that those whose fingers are not stained with voting ink at the end of the election will be easily identified as guerrillas and traitors. Cambodian citizens will not be intimidated by this and, on July 29th, they will express their will by not going to vote. And Chai Ying, as for those who employ threats, doing so is part of their culture, as they are used to a communist and dictatorial mindset, he said, noting that some among Cambodia's current leadership, including Hun Sen, were formerly soldiers under the Khmer Rouge regime. Court summons meanwhile, Tio Long Samra, the wife of former CNRP President Sam Rainsy, failed to appear in court in the capital Phnom Penh for questioning on Thursday related to charges that she had helped to establish the Cambodia National Rescue Movement CNRM, as a way around a ban on the opposition party. The government views the CNRM as an illegal movement, and Phnom Penh Municipal Court Deputy Prosecutor C. Yang Sok on March 30 summoned Tio Long Samra and five other senior CNRM members and founders to testify over the movement's formation. Tio Long Samra, Sam Rainsy and Inch Chai Ying, who are all living in self-imposed exile from Cambodia, have failed to appear at the court. Ho Van, Nuth Rumduol and Tavanchan have been ordered to appear next week. Neither Tio Long Somur nor Sam Rainsy could be reached by RFA for comment about their summonses. And Chai Ying told RFA on Thursday that the Cambodia's judicial system, especially the courts, are institutions under Hun Sen's power and lack independence from the ruling party. So he and other CNRM members don't find it necessary to attend the hearings. If we were to confront them or testify at the court, which is widely known as being under Hun Sen's control, they will imprison us and undertake other harmful acts against us, he said. So regardless of what they are doing, that's their business. We are taking care of our own business, so as to ensure change in Cambodia. Movement agenda when asked what agenda the CNRM is pursuing in Cambodia. And Chai Ying said the movement is primarily focused on getting voters to boycott the election in July. We know that the electoral laws in Cambodia's constitution do not require our citizens to vote, so they will use their right to boycott the polls during this fake election process, he said. The CNRM will also organize Cambodians living abroad to call on the international community not to recognize the results of the election, he added. These are actions that we need to carry out together, so as to ensure genuine change in the near future, he said. Amid Hun Sen's crackdown on the political opposition, both the U.S., and EU have withdrawn donor support for Cambodia's elections, citing government action seen as limiting democracy in the country. Last week the U.S. State Department decried the Cambodian government's decision to prohibit the CNRP from participating in the national elections saying it would prevent millions of Cambodian voters from exercising their democratic right to vote for candidates of their choice, and had called into question the integrity of the electoral process. Thank you for listening to my channel. Please subscribe for Get Hot News in the World.